Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading session dated Wednesday 10th of October. I'm recording this video quarter to six in the early evening New York time on the 10th. I have just three charts for you today. This downwards movement, particularly for the Dow, invalidated the Dow's wave count. I'm expecting because this structure is an incomplete impulse to see more downwards movement. So, it doesn't look like a fourth wave correction at green degree, it's just too large in both price and duration. It looks like a correction at minor degree or blue degree, and it's incomplete. It's probably a regular flat correction, I have a target for more downwards movement. So this wave count is now more likely. This first chart and the second chart do still have a roundabout and even probability, although the second chart perhaps slightly lower probability because we should always assume the trend remains the same. What seems clearer now is this third wave is over and we're seeing a fourth wave unfold before a final fifth wave up. For this first chart, the fifth wave up will require a new all-time high. When the fourth wave has ended, then I'll calculate a target upwards for the final fifth wave for you. When I use Elliott's first channeling technique from 1 to 3 and a copy on 2, it's not containing this movement well at all. So we will need to redraw the channel when the fourth wave is over, from 2 to 4 and a copy on 3. I'll leave it here for now. Wave 4 blue can't move into wave 1 blue price territory, Movement below 1380.39 would invalidate this first daily wave count and confirm a big trend change and at that stage the second daily wave count would be correct. Let's have a look at the structure on the hourly chart where the high for 3 blue up here is this point up here. So here's an unfolding flat correction for wave 4 blue with a 3 waves down for A a three waves up for B, and a five wave impulse developing to the downside for wave C. It can't be one, two, three, four, five, because the third wave would be the shortest. So this third wave is developing as an extension. We have a nice impulse down here for one, a flat for a second wave, and within wave three green, one, two, the third wave, we can see the subdivisions nicely, is over. We need a little fourth wave up tomorrow, a final fifth wave down for five orange to end three green, another fourth wave up and a final fifth wave down to one, four, two, seven, where wave C pink would reach equality in length with wave A pink. Because wave B pink is only a 92% correction of A, this flat is most likely to be a regular flat, which has the most common relationship between A and C as one of equality. So what I'm expecting for tomorrow is more of this, more choppy overlapping but slightly trending lower movement to about 1427. And that may take another one or two sessions for that small close by target to be reached. On the way down, the fourth wave correction at green degree can't move into wave one green price territory. This wave count is invalidated with movement above 1453.51 in the short term. Here's our second wave count, and if this third wave was over here, as it seems most likely now, and it's not extended, we may have had a really big trend change. This could work if we're seeing a leading diagonal unfolding to the downside because this downwards movement, no matter where we have it ending, looks most like a zigzag. We have a zigzag upwards and either an impulse or a zigzag unfolding to the downside for a third wave, which must make a new low beyond the end of the first wave. However, this wave count will only be confirmed if we see price movement below 1380.39. It's a really big trend change at primary degree, so patience and waiting for price confirmation that we've had a trend change is a really wise idea. 
that correction is too large in terms of price and duration to just be at green degree. It's two degrees higher most likely at blue or minor degree and it's incomplete. It needs a little bit more downwards movement before it's over. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis and I hope that members are all having an awesome day.